Take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. Teaching platform, this is Mr. Mlonga, aka the teacher. My pupils calls me the teacher. We are here to do mathematics indeed. Be ready for the lesson that is coming forth. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe so that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. We'll be posting videos every day. Remember, a straight line can be drawn anywhere. But in this case, our consideration is the length of a straight line that is drawn on the x or y plane. So if we have to do an illustration to that, it means the x or y plane, you have the y axis, then you also have the x axis. On this plane, you can draw a straight line. For example, you can have a point A there, which is x comma y, x comma y. You can also have a point B anywhere. So B also x comma y. If these two coordinates are connected, then the result is going to be a straight line. So a straight line is actually a connection of two points. So we can draw a straight line here. We have a line AB. Now, to measure the length of this AB, when it is on paper and you have not used a scale or even when a scale is used there is a way of calculating the length of a b so the formula that we use to calculate a b is that if this is our a let us denote this to be point one then this is our b let this be point two this is point one and that is point two now the formula that we have to use to calculate the length of a straight line AB in this case is going to be magnitude of AB. This is what we use to denote that we are measuring the length, we are calculating the length, is equal to root x2 minus x1 to the power 2 plus y2 minus y1 to the power 2. This is the formula we use. So for this, these two coordinates that we have, I labeled this to be point 1 and this to be point 2. Meaning that x2 is supposed to come from point 2, which is that. So our x2 is going to be this value. Then x1 is supposed to come from point 1. So x1 is going to be the value in place of that x. y2 is supposed to come from point 2. So the value of y2 should be there. y1 is supposed to, be come, to come from point 1. Then y1 is going to be the value in that position. So we have two questions here. Where we have, find the length of a straight line joining P and also Q. So we have P and Q. P is the first to be mentioned. Then Q is the second. So we are going to consider this to be point 1 and this to be point 2. Just like I explained on this one, we can now do a substitution. So to do that, for A, P, Q, the magnitude of PQ is going to be equal to, we are just substituting into that formula. Our X2 is supposed to come from point Q because we have considered this one to be point Q. Hence, x2 is going to come from there. So open the brackets. What is the value of x in this coordinate? The value of x is actually 8 because this is x comma y. So we write 8 minus. What is x1? x1 will not come from there. It will come from the first coordinate. So x1 is 4. So 4 then to the power 2 plus. We have reached this stage y2 minus y1 y2 is supposed to come from point 2 so our y2 is going to come from there hence y in this coordinate is 4 so we have a 4 in that position minus y1 y1 is going to come from this coordinate now so our y1 in this case is this 1 so minus 1 like that to the power 2 then from here, 8 minus 4 is going to be 
4 and then it is to the power 2 plus our 4 minus 1 is going to give us a 3 so this would be 3 to the power 2 like that when that is done we can now square 4 times 4 is going to be 16 plus 3 times uh, 3 is going to be a 9 please this does not mean 4 times 2 it's 4 times 4 this is not 3 times 2 this is 3 times 3 then from there we have 16 plus 9 is going to be 25 the square root of 25 can be a positive or negative number however what we are talking about is length there is no negative length so we'll ignore the negative and the positive but we'll pick on the positive number so the square root of 25 is actually 5 in a situation where they have not put the units we just say units like that so this is the answer that is how we calculate length of a straight line and in this case we have considered the length of a line that is connecting two points point p1 and point q2 okay so we also have another question that is question b for b question b we have these two coordinates a and b so i always consider the first coordinate to be coordinate one then this will be coordinate two when that is done you just substitute into this formula so we have a b is equal to roots we are starting with x x2 is going to come from point 2 so what is the value of x in b the value of x is actually negative 2 then minus x1 what is x1 x1 is going to come from there what is the value of x in this coordinate it's actually 4 then to the power 2 plus open brackets y2 is going to come from this point so what is the value of x in that point it's actually 3 so we have a 3 minus y1 is going to come from this coordinate when you look at it there's already a negative there and there's a negative which is coming from the formula please do not ignore one of them so it means there's another negative then we have a 5 to the power 2 the root sign must be reaching the end then from there we have 2 minus 4 negative 2 minus 4 is going to be a negative 6 so we have a negative 6 to the power 2 plus 3 minus negative 5 that means we have a negative times negative giving out a positive so this will be 3 plus 5 that will give you 8 to the power 2 then from there we have negative 6 to the power 2 means negative 6 times negative 2 uh, sorry negative 6 times negative 6 because this negative is also raised to the power 2 hence this will give us a positive 3 6 plus 8 to the power 2 is going to give us 64 6 4 like that when you add you are going to have root of 100 the square root of 100 is going to be 10 there are no units so you just say 10 units like that this marks the end of the lesson and this is the formula that we use to calculate length of a straight line you have to be considerate of the substitutions that you are doing because x1 is supposed to come from point 1 x2 is supposed to come from point 2 y1 is supposed to come from point 1 then y2 supposed to come from point 2 so apportionment of point 1 and point 2 is very important however even if you said let this be point 2 uh, let this be point 1 and this be point 2 the answer will still come out this way same applies to that if we considered this b to be our point 1 and this a to be our point 2 the answer will still come back as 10 units regardless of your apportionment so this is the end of the lesson this marks the end of our lesson please if you have not subscribed this is the time to do so because every day we'll be posting videos and it's important that every time we post a video you are the first to be notified 
where you need to comment, you need to ask something, do not hesitate. We value your support, we value your contribution, be it positive or negative. Oh, come on, small. and thank you very much for having watched the video. Please share the video with others. Let other lovers of mathematics enjoy the mathematics that we are doing on this platform. It's mathematics all the way until Jesus Christ comes. Take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. We cannot be able to calculate or count the time without the use of mathematics. The calendar that we use is a product of mathematics. We only get to know that this is the year 2020 by the use of mathematics, by following the calendar mathematically. The population of any country is a product of mathematics. You only get to know that it takes nine months for a baby to be born through the use of mathematics. In the medical field, temperatures calculated using mathematics. In the business world, profit and loss is only appreciated by the use of mathematics. A bricklayer uses mathematics to calculate the number of bricks needed for that construction. A carpenter uses mathematics to calculate the gradient of the roof before the roof is put up. A policeman has to count the number of prisoners in that police cell through mathematics. A thief should be able to calculate the hypotenuse of that brick or before falling off that brick or. We all need mathematics. Mathematics runs the world.